Hi everybody, this is Brittany from Teach Me ABA, and today we're going to continue on with our series on the task list 5 for those studying for the exam. Up next is B-9, and this is Operant Extinction, so let's get into it. <laughs> So when we talk about operant behavior, we're talking about behavior that is determined by a history of consequences that have followed it. Now this is different from respondent behaviors that are predetermined based on our biology. So think about this in terms of reflexes. They're occurring without us even knowing, they just happen. For example, let's think about a time where you smell your favorite meal, especially when you haven't eaten anything and your mouth just waters. That's respondent behavior. Now, when we talk about operant conditioning, let's go ahead and go back and I'll give you a quick reminder if you haven't gone back to our previous video. So let's say they were talking about a child that receives candy after they're screaming and crying. So they are more likely to scream and cry for candy in the future. Thus, is this considered a punishment or a reinforcement? So since this behavior continues occurring, we would state that this behavior is contacting reinforcement. Thus, it has undergone operant conditioning. Now, to eliminate this kind of behavior that has been learned through operant conditioning, we would implement a operant extinction procedure. Now, what does that mean? Operant extinction is a procedure that involves removing the previous reinforcement from a particular behavior. Now, behaviors that go under extinction disappear entirely from that individual's repertoire. So, per my example, with the child that no longer receives candy during offering extinction, i.e. the reinforcement is no longer presented, and therefore the screaming and the crying no longer occurs in the future. This is in contrast to punishment, where a stimulus is either presented or removed prior to the behavior, nor after. So, it does sound a little bit similar, but clinically they're very different. The primary difference is that the stimulus change is not occurring contingent upon the behavior in extinction. Therefore, the behavior cannot be reinforced or punished. Operant extinction is very important when it comes to severe behaviors that have previously been reinforced after they occur. So let's think of self-interest behaviors, aggression, especially aggression towards others. These are behaviors within a person's repertoire that we definitely want to eliminate. Now, I hope I provided you with enough information. I know this isn't everything when it comes to operant extinction, but if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I hope you have a good luck studying out there.